1000 to sprint. It's a Glendor sprint. And uh, away they go from the 1000. King's Troop a little sluggish to start. Bermuda Prince was out on a flash. Bandol here the drums. Those three setting a mad scramble for the early lead. First growth is just off them. Then comes Little Master on the stand side. Thunder Key only a length or two off the leader. Down the inside comes Main Brace. Belando's after these ones and King's Troop is at the back of the field as they get to the 600 and Bermuda Prince is in front but down the inside we have Bandol. Here the drums will settle down to race about two lengths off the leader. Then comes First Growth. Down the outside Gold Sleeves and Kappa Thunder Key. Further back then we find King's Troop. Main Brace in behind them and Belando gets a few reminders from the stick as they get to the 300 and here the drums is absolutely cruising in the middle of the course here the drums now picks it up Bermuda Prince down the outside King's Troop then comes First Growth Bandol's in behind these ones as they get to the 150 it's here the drums still in front holding on by a short margin on the outside Thunder Key is full of running here the drums in the middle of the course Thunder Key on the outside the King is back here the drums wins it anybody for second but here the drums records number 34 well, the champs back uh, here, the drums number one from the Des McLaughlin stable. Yeah, a lot of people were doubting would he come back after last time the jockey fell off. Time before, didn't put up any sort of a run, but Marco, he certainly bounced back to his best today. And Difty Tactics today didn't go to the front, settled in behind them. Yeah, you know, I, I just I just figured with this headwind, the 63 on his back, you know, it's not right to it's not right to do it to him. You know, he's always a good sprinter, he's always he can handle it. But if you force him to if you force him early and you let him do overdo it, he's gonna battle, you know. So I gave him a chance today and I said, you know, with, with the headwind I have to try and get cover and when I, when I got him behind him, he actually changed his legs and he started, he started racing with me. And he won a good race today. I, I, like I said, now 63 and he accelerated like that up this hill into a headwind. Wind, yeah. No, it's something else. What's he feel like? The first time you've actually ridden him? Yeah, it's my first time on his back and uh, you know, he's a good sprinter. He's a nice sprinter. He's stocky, he's, he's hot. And, uh, and he tries, he, uh, that's all he wants, you just want him to try. Well, terrific, well done to you. I just want to say thanks to Mr McLaughlin, you know, to my agent, to uh, La uh, Warren, and to Mr Hunter, he gave me all the confidence in the world with this horse. He said to me, I'm just go out there and try my best, he is a good horse, and he can do it, so thanks to Mr Hunter and to all of them at home. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Well done. Well, Choppies, there are a lot of people doubting it. There was money for a lot of horses. And I'm just going to mention before I chat to you, five bandle out in front. He died of death. And uh, this horse, eight-year-old now, I mean, 34 wins. I mean, we've said it all before, but he, he doesn't look like he's finished yet by a long way. You know, Rod, strange enough, you know, as I walked on the course today, people asked me, isn't it time to retire him? Is it time to retire him? You know, he's like a young horse. He's enjoying racing. Yeah. You know, he's lost two runs. You know, also it's 134. He's entitled to have the off day. Yeah, exactly. You know, he's had two off days. Well, last time, Alec, unfortunately, was dislodged at the start. Not his fault. Uh, the time before, 1,200, bad draw. Yeah. There's not many races for these horses. So we try and keep him as fit and as honest as possible. And I think he's helped the punters out a lot in the past. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I see today the... I very seldom watch TV. I see the Maries and as Neil was going through it, everybody left him out their big sixes. So I hope they didn't follow him and they just followed a decent horse for once. Well, he is a champion. As you said, he's got nothing to prove to anyone, but he's still going strong. And as you said, if he's enjoying racing, why not run the thing? Rod, I haven't seen him pay three and fifty a place Place. ever and five rand a win. So I think it's tied to the belt today. Well, well done to you, Choppies. You've done a great job with this horse. 34 wins and uh, I'm sure he's going to pick up quite a few more races up. Right, everyone's a bonus once he broke the record and, you know, we're just glad to be associated with a little chap like this. Good luck to you and good luck to Peter as well. Thanks, Rod. Well done to Peter Fabricius down in Durban there and Choppies who's kept him ticking along. Well, a lot of us did doubt, would he come back? The champ did, he proved us all wrong. Disappointments in the race, number two, Thunder Key and one of the big disappointments up there handy, had it his own way, number five, Bandle, just didn't go on with it today.